So right now we have a, a pilot going at a, a hospital here in Portland, and that's with a cancer center. And uh, these patients, these cancer patients are in there for a number of days and, uh, you know, pre-surgery and, and post-surgery. And they're going through a lot. They're going through physical pain. They're going through the trauma of dealing with cancer and anxiety. Uh, there's a lot that, that, that's going on. Um, and uh, our pilot is putting these, our, our VR systems in the patient's room. And this is very exciting because the patient is going to be able to decide when they want to use VR. So during this pilot, uh, these patients will have access 24-7 to VR. And what we're looking at is how they use it, the choices that they make, uh, we're gathering some data about, about the level of interactivity. And what we're looking at in terms of, of outcomes for the healthcare system, so number one, you have what is the effect for the patient? Uh, do they get up and about more? Do, you know, what is recovery faster? What happens uh, to the use of opioids and drugs and narcotics? Um, and, uh, and looking at outcomes. Another area is the effect on the, the health care providers, the, the nurses. Um, do they hit the call button less? Do they, uh, you know, are the nurses able to be more productive? Uh, can they spend their time on more meaningful interactions with the patient than just going in and saying, what's your pain score? Okay, I'll get you some more drugs. That fifth vital sign problem is really plaguing uh, our medical system where everybody is so concerned about, you know, addressing undertreated pain that we have gotten ourselves in the United States into the unfortunate situation where we consume 80% of the world's narcotics. How do we stop that? There's a, there's a wide recognition that we're using too many opioids and we have too few tools in our toolbox that uh, give really viable op options. You know, VR is, a, is another tool and we're looking at it in the context of this pilot about how it's utilized uh, by the patient and then the effect on the healthcare providers and the nurses and the doctors. And what we've seen so far in, in previous studies has been very promising. So we're, we're very encouraged. So 